Okay, so this is a short video on how you can use your client referral SharePoint site. So to access it, you go to meetvec.ie, you pick up VEC staff SharePoint, and you log in. Okay, if you don't log in there, um, it brings to the public site, and you click on the right hand side and you log in. But basically, you want to get to the VEC staff page. Okay, from here, you go to VEC head office. You select that and you can see your client referrals list or site is listed there above the conference room reservations. So you select that. Now there's a couple of things you can do here. You can either add that to your favorites so that your site here is added to your favorites or what you can do is if you're using a number of SharePoint sites quite often you can add them to your links. So you simply over here on the right hand side beside my site click on the little black triangle and what you can do is add to my links and this page or any other page will add to your links list so you just click that and click OK that then every time you're on any SharePoint page you can then click up or pick up your link page there your client referrals page so that's really handy if you happen to be on a half a dozen SharePoint sites just to add them into your links okay so how do you use this site you've, it's a very basic site you've got client referrals tasks and you've got client contact referrals now the contact referrals is a very easy one to use it, in here you would just put any contact details in and um, so you just simply go in there now I'm just going to put in a test one so I'm going to new new item Okay, and I just fill in as I go the person's name, right, and details. Anything that has a red asterisk means that you must fill it in. So I'm just going to put in test. Now, I could obviously fill in as much information as, as required for that person and any other general information and notes, but in this case, I'm just leaving it blank. So I just select OK. That then has gone in, right? Um, and the information that you see about that person is listed. Now, there is five or six key pieces of information there. You can sort them on last name by clicking on it on first name and so on. If you want to delete that person's contact details again you just simply delete the item and press OK and that one goes. Okay so that's just for contact lists. But the main place you're going to use it, um, this is your breadcrumb back here so I'm just going to go back to client referrals because the main place you're going to use it is for when you actually want to refer somebody on to somebody else. So that's listed in here under client referrals tasks. So just select that there. Now I'm going to put in a new um, referral on to somebody here. So the t it's a new, new item okay so the title is uh, this could be a, a phone call from somebody um, or it could be a general information so I'm just going to put this as a test uh, referral okay the priority you choose is it high is it normal or is it low in this case it's a high referral now the status of this task is obviously if this person hasn't even been referred on it's just general not started um, how much complete is it? 0% complete. If this was a general task, you could have assigned how much of this task is actually completed at this time. Who are you assigning it to? Okay, so in this case I'm going to browse. I'm going to pick up Hazel's name here. I'm going to pretend that I'm going to refer somebody onto her. So I type in Hazel and I find her. So I pick her up here. Okay, and select OK now that her name is listed in there. Now I can type in here a general information. Okay, I'm just saying that this is a test, but you could put so-and-so called me, I'm referring them on to you. And then the start date and the due date. Now this is because it's related back to office, um, office assignments that you're assigning someone a task. Um, the start date is basically today's date. All right, it'll always take it as a date, but if they rang you last week, you can pick up your calendar here and you can go back a day. Alright, but I'm going to leave it as today. If it was a particular task that somebody wanted something done by, again, you can pick up the due date and put in a due date, or you can leave it open-ended, which I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to select OK. Now you can see that that has been, this person has been referred on to Hazel and it hasn't been started. Okay, now a couple of things you need to do here. Each person, every person in the list, okay, the list of names, in order for you to know that someone has been referred on to you, you need to set an action, right? You need to alert me, um, each one of you, to this section. So what you need to do is, when you go in here, so I'll go back to the start again, 
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to set an alert me that if anything changes in here, that any or all of you people will get an alert. Right, so each one of you have to do that. So you do is you simply go into client referrals tasks. Okay, now you'll only get an alert if the alert relates to you. So what you do is you go up here to actions. Don't do it down here. So each one of you have to do this. So you select actions and you select alert me. Receive email notifications when items change. Okay, now you don't want all changes because you don't want to receive an alert if um, somebody else gets a referral. Okay, what you want to do is set it for create a task, alert me if a task has been assigned to me. Okay, so just this one here. Someone else changes a task assigned to me. Right, you see that there? So you are changing it now that if someone else changes a task and it's assigned to me, you will then um, get an alert. Okay, when to send it, send it immediately generally. Okay, and then select okay. I now have an alert. So if somebody assigns me a task or a referral, I will get an email on that. Okay. Now again, that was um, a test a referral, but I'm going to delete that there now. So I'm going to simply click on the little black triangle here and I'm going to delete it. Now you can set an individual alert, but you're as well just set it up here under actions. So in this case, down here, delete the item and press OK. Okay, so again, if I go back to client referrals, um, the section now is blank because I've taken out that test. All right. Now you can in here again, you can put in documents. That's just a small document library, and the only people that have access to those documents are these people listed here. If you need other people needed access, if somebody else joins the group, you just add their names in. Okay, and you let Brian know, and he will then add the names in. I'm in it obviously just for training um, purposes. Okay, so that's generally it. If you have any queries, or you can let me know. I hope to meet all the program coordinators anyway in the next week or so to talk about your SharePoint site. So if you're not sure about it, you can, of course, let me know. I'll be in on Thursday um, in general. So that's really it.